Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our first scheduled weekly Tuesday tutorial. Now as this is the first one scheduled, I'll be starting off nice and easy by showing you how to create a loading screen for your application. Now loading screens are displayed at the start of your application just before it loads up. Now you'll see these in most apps out now, like it gives you a quick little image of it saying loading or something like that. So on my desktop here I have my loading screen. It's currently 320 pixels by 480, the size of the iPhone screen. Now it's just a plain blue background with the word loading in. Just a normal and basic loading screen. So I'm going to show you how to install it into your project. It requires no coding whatsoever. Previous versions of Xcode did require you to put in this sleep function. But in these newer versions now, it's really not needed. There's no coding whatsoever. So go straight into Xcode and file a new project. Make sure it's a view-based application for the iPhone. I name this loading screen. Save that. Just wait for it to load now. Okay then. So let's drag it. I won't do it full size because we need to drag the image in. And to get your loading screen into your application, right, simply drag and drop. Make sure your loading screen is named default with a capital D dot PNG. A project will automatically recognize this and currently set it to the loading screen. And all you need to do is click it, drag it all the way into your resources. Make sure you copy it into your destinations group folder just in case you need it later on in your project and press add. Now once it's in there, make sure you set it to the iPhone simulator. Go straight away and build and run. We'll just wait for this to load up now. And depending on how much information or how big your application is, really depends on how long the loading screen stays up. It's just displayed to give your application time for it to load so your users are not just sitting there waiting staring at a blank screen they've got a nice little loading screen to stare at so we just wait for the simulator to fully load up properly and there we go loading screen now you can change your loading screens from instead of having the word loading you can have your website at the bottom or any other links to your facebook or your twitter it's a nice little bit of advertising for your users so it's a really good and useful feature to have into your applications. And that's how you add a loading screen. So thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope it helps you in your current projects. Make sure you comment on the video or send me a message if you want to request any tutorials of your own. Also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And don't forget to favourite and thumbs up so others can benefit from the video. But that's it for today and I'll see you all in the next tutorial next Tuesday.